What are you doing? I'm going to find the dummies. You're going to find the dummies? Yeah. What are you going to do with the dummies? <gasps> Put it in. Put the blue one. All right, let's try and find some more dummies, hey? Put it in the dummy bag. How many have you got in there? Five. Pull it. Yeah. yeah. Should we go hang it on the tree? Yeah. And what happens when we put it on the tree? Yeah. Um, What's gonna happen tonight while we sleep? Um, the, the dummy fairy. The dummy fairy's gonna come. Ah, which tree should we hang it on, Chelsea? This one. That one? Good job! Okay, this is the story about Minky Mary, the dummy fairy. Okay? High in the hills in a land far away with the name Minky Mary is a truly amazing and magical fairy. Look at all the dummies in the trees. Oh, see all the other little kids are like leaving their dummies in the trees. She went to the tree, she sprinkled fairy dust on the special blue bag. And it opened like magic when the wand tapped the tag. Tucked neatly inside, she could see every dummy. What a good job you've done! Minky whispered to Chelsea. Stop. Read that book? Yeah. Here we get. What is it? <laughs> You beat us on attempt one, didn't you? You won. Excuse number one. Apparently she was starving, her tummy hurt, she was very hungry. So we're down, we're feeding her tummy. And then we go right back to bed, aren't we, Chelsea? Attempt number two. <laughs> Is it attempt number two? Yes. Chelsea. Are you awake? Guess who came? Look! Who came, Chelsea? Who came last night? What is it? Is it sparkles? Who came last night, Chelsea? Who, the dummy fairy? Did you sleep all night like a big girl without your dummies? Yes. What does that mean? All the way downstairs. Think that the dummy fairies left you a present? Yes. Yes. In the tree. In the tree. Yay! Wow. Look, he brought all the dummies to the baby. It did take all the dummies to the babies. You're the pig girl now, aren't you? What is it, Jones? Chocolate. Did they replace all the dummies with chocolate balls? I eat it. Okay. He wants some. He wants some of your chocolate ball. Are you hiding from the dragon your chocolate ball? Yeah. <laughs> it has 
now been three weeks since uh, the dummy fairy came to visit Chelsea and take all of her dummies to the little girls and boys that needed them and left behind Ellie the dragon. So I thought I'd give you an update three weeks post dummy fairy. Um, how are we going and how Chelsea's going without her dummy? Um, and I guess I want to say that overall it has been actually a really big success. Um, so Chelsea doesn't have her dummies, um, she hasn't had a dummy since the night that she gave them to the dummy fairy and she's actually never ever asked for her dummy, not even once. The, the dummy fairy was a really good way for Chelsea. Um, we, over a week period, we really built it up, um, we brought her a really special gift, she was involved, she ran around the house collecting all her dummies, was really excited about hanging it up. Um, and it was a really exciting way of giving up something that was quite meaningful to her. Um, so the dummy fairy for us worked really well. Um, her behaviour has been so much better since we got rid of it. So we found that um, when I went out, particularly to the shops or we were out at friend's house and she got tired, she'd start to cry and demand her dummy um, because she only was allowed to have her dummy in bed. So she'd say, I'm really tired, I want to go to bed. Um, and then when I'd say, no, you can't have your dummy, or no, we're out, she can't go to bed, um, she'd get really upset and sometimes have big tantrums. So I have found that since getting rid of her dummies, um, that has completely gone. So she can be get tired, but then she'll just lie down and rest or she'll read a book um, rather than starting a fight. And I don't think it was so much the dummy, I think it was just that she knew she could ask for it. And then of course I would say no, and you all know that when you say no to a two-year-old, that's, um, that's when tantrums start. So losing the dummy has impact on, on her overall um, bedtime routine. So I think now it takes about 15 minutes longer for Chelsea to go to sleep um, before we could give her her dummy uh, and her tumpy and then just give her you know, a kiss and say goodnight and walk out the door, turn the light off and she would take herself off to sleep. Now we have to spend about 15 minutes or so, sometimes a little bit longer, helping her get to sleep. So we give her a little bit of a cuddle and a little bit of a pat pat till she gets drowsy and then we can walk out. We were affected for about three nights where she woke up in the middle of the night. Um, but from the fourth day after the dummy fairy came, she went back to normal and now sleeps through the night again. And the dummy for Chelsea didn't impact her sleep except for, as I said, the first three or so nights. Um, she sleeps just as well as she did before. She also has started to have day naps, which is really strange. So before when she had a dummy, she didn't day nap and now it's gone. She seems to be able to sleep in the day. And I wonder if that's that she's gotten better at self-settling. You've got a two and a half year old and you're thinking about getting rid of the dummy. I highly recommend thinking about using the dummy fairy approach. As I said, there's a kit that you can buy. We were given it, but you don't even need a kit. You just need a little, um, you know, satin bag or something that they can put their dummy in and then you can read them a story or make up a story around the dummy fairy coming, um, swap it over with a meaningful gift, make it a big event, um, let them participate, let them collect all their dummies, um, let them hang it on a tree because then they feel in control and the more that your toddler can feel in control, I think the more that they buy in. But because she felt in control of it, she felt like it was her decision, um, it was just participating in a really exciting thing, it worked really well and she has not asked once for the dummy um, in the whole three weeks since we did it. Her behaviour's improved, she still sleeps really well. The only sort of downside is it takes us a little bit longer to help her get to sleep at night, but um, we would definitely take this over anything. So I hope you liked this video, I hope you got some tips and ideas. Please leave a comment around what your approach was to um, helping your little one transition off the dummy. Um, I think that lots of people out there, I was YouTubing a lot, looking at ideas for how we would do it um, and it's great to get some ideas and think about how you do it. Thanks guys, bye!